Hi children, today we are going to learn 6th class, 3rd chapter that is playing with numbers in that exercise number 3.6. In the 3.4 and 3.5, we have learned about how to find out the LCM and how to find out the HCM. But in 3.6, we learn that we are going to learn the relationship between LCM and HCM. Is there a relation between the LCM and HCM? Absolutely, there is a one relation between the LCM and HCM. There is a formula here. I'm going to teach you that. Here, the relation is LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. Product of two numbers. Product of two given numbers. The product of two given numbers. This is the relation. That means when you do LCM into HCF, the LCM of two numbers or LCM of a given numbers into the HCF of a given numbers equal to the product of two given numbers. Okay. Suppose that we solve some problems based on this relation here in this exercise. The first exercise here in the first bit, first bit, the first problem see, find the LCM and HCF are following the numbers and check their relationship. We have to find out the LCM and HCF, then we have to find out the relation between these two. Okay, first of all let us find out 15 comma 24. So we will find out the LCM and also we will find out the HCF of these two numbers and also we will check the relation, is it satisfy the relation or not. Let us find out the LCM first. Okay, we will find out the LCM. I will go for division method in the LCM 15 comma 24 3 5 is a 15 3 is a 24 Again, this same 5 table if you take 5 is a 5 Here we will get 8 Again, it is same again in the 8 table comes R0 is a 2 4 is a uh, 2 2 is a R0 directly you can take 8 here 5 to 5 to 3 to 8 you can take Here LCM is equal to 3 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 1 into 2 or 2 into 1. But so here 3 5 is 15 into this 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. 15 into 8. 15 into 8. 8 5 is 44 carry 8 for the 8 where 120. So this 120 is the LCM. Okay, let's find out the HCF then. HCF of these numbers, let us take the HCF. I will take the division method, continuous division method or long division method. 15 ones are 15. What we get here? 9. So this 9 become a divisor. 15 become a dividend. 9 ones are 9. Again, we will get 6 here. Here it is 9. This 6 will be remainder now. Remainder become a divisor. The first divisor, the before divisor become a dividend. 6 ones are 6. We get 3 again 3 to the 6. The remainder you got zero. Until you got the remainder, we have to do it. Therefore, HCF equal to 3. The HCF you got as a 3 and the LCF you got as a 120. HCF equal to 3. Here, LCF equal to LCM equal to 120. Let us see the relation. Let us check the relation. What is the relation here? LCM into HCF equal to product of two numbers. This is the relation. Let us check. LCM of the numbers is what? 120. Into HCF of the numbers is what? 3. LCM into HCF we are that equal to product of two numbers. What are the two numbers here? 15 into 24. 15 into 24. Let us see. 3 into 120. That is 360. That is equal to 15 4 is 60. 6 carry. 52 is 30 plus 6 is 36. You got LHS equal to RHS? Yes. That means the statement is true. That means LCM of Two numbers and HCF of two numbers if you multiply, whatever the answer you will get, the same answer will get by finding out the product of the two 
the given numbers. So this is the relation we need to be minded. Thus LCM into HCF equal to product of two given numbers. So we can also find out this. We can also check by taking other numbers from the same bit. Let us check it. This we have two three problems actually. Let's go for the second problem here. That is eighty eight comma twenty five. Eight comma twenty five. Let us find out the LCM. First, uh, let us find out the LCM of these numbers by the division method. Eight comma twenty five. Okay. Here eight comma twenty five LCM. Eight in comes in the different table. Five in comes in the different table. These are the co-fractions only. So I am going to try here two four the eight, but twenty five will not comes in the two table. We will write the same. And you see that four and twenty five also will come in the Different table. So LCM equal to you can write directly 8 into 25 are 2 into 4 into 25. Whatever you get the same one. Okay, that is 25 four is 100 and into 2 that is 200. Therefore LCM equal to 200 directly 8 and 25 are co-fraction. They don't have any common factors. So multiply both numbers you get 200. Then HCF Equal to H C F. The H C F are the numbers. So here twenty five and eight. Eight three is a twenty four. One as a remainder. See now this remainder become a divisor. The first divisor become a dividend. One eight is a eight. Now we work the remainder as zero. Therefore H C F equal to one. So we got the LCM 200 HCF as a one. Here we will write LCM is what 200. HCF of the number is one. That equal to product of two numbers 8 into 25. Product this is multiplication. 200 into one is 200. 25 is also you got 200. Therefore, it is satisfied the condition. LCM into HCF equal to product of two given numbers. Then we will also go for The third problem from this same same bit again. Yes. Twelve comma forty eight. Yes. Twelve comma forty eight. Let us find out the LCM first by the division method. Twelve comma forty eight. So here two six are two twenty four are. Two three is a six. Two twelve is a, and three three one is a, three four is a. Now you get the LCM here. LCM is equal to two into two into three into one into four. That is two two is a four. Four three is a twelve. Twelve four is a forty eight. Twelve four is a forty eight. So this is LCM. LCM equal to forty eight. Then H C F. We have to find out the H C F. Let us find out the H C F. Forty eight and twelve. Twelve four is a forty eight. That is zero. What is here? H C F equal to twelve. Yes. Let us find out the L C F. What is a forty eight? H C F. What is a twelve? Forty eight into twelve. The product of two numbers. Find out the product of these two numbers. Twelve into forty-eight. Twelve into forty-eight or forty-eight into twelve. You have the same number again, and this condition also will be satisfied. Are not multiplied. Twelve is a ninety-six. Nine carry twelve four is a forty-eight. Forty-eight plus nine fifty-seven. Here also you get five hundred seventy-six. In the both the cases you got the same answer again. This condition is satisfied. I hope you understood the the product of two numbers. The relation between the LCM and HCF is what? LCM to HCF equal to the product of two given numbers. So you should not forget the relation between the LCM and HCF. That is once again let me write here LCM into HCF equal to product of two numbers two given. Numbers. Here two numbers in this. There will be first number and the second number. One number and the other number also. 
okay let us see there are three important questions in this again second question if the lcm of two numbers here you given lcm of two numbers equal to lcm of two numbers is 216 is given and then hcf is also given hcf of two numbers equal to hcf of two numbers is sorry and their product is given not here it is the next question answer actually sorry and their product product of two numbers is given product of two numbers the product of two numbers is 7776 then find out the hcf we need to find out the hcf equal to what we need to find out the hcf of the two numbers so say we have to apply the formula here so what is the formula now lcm into hcf is equal to product of the two given numbers okay here lcm is given 216 let us write here into hcf this is what we need to find out that equal to product of two numbers what are the two numbers product of two numbers 7776 we need hcf no this 216 is multiplied to hcf if you transport it will be divides the multiplication term will be divides when you transport from lhs to rhs when the division term will be multiplied the plus term will become minus the minus term become a minus plus when you transport one number from lhs to rhs the plus become a minus minus become a plus into become a division and division become a multiplication so here 216 is 5 uh, 216 is multiplied so this 216 will divide so let us find out hcf equal to 7776 already is there rhs side now this 216 will divide so then we will get see in which table we can cancel this okay let us see we go for in the three table or not uh, we can also go for the nine table so we go for three table three sevens are 21 so three sevens are 21 three twos are six okay here three twos are six 17 then three fives are 15 2 left that is 27 3 nines are 27 3 twos are 6 ok next again this 72 also will cancel in the 3 table only and this is 9 and 9 9 table we will go for 9 table 9 eights are 72 here 9 twos are 18 in the sense here we got 7 left that is 79 9 eights are 72 that is 7 left again here 9 eights are 72 again so again the 8 table will be cancelled here 8 ones are 8 8 4 sorry 8 3 is a 24 8 3 is a 24 this is 4 left that is 48 ok 8 6 is a 48 therefore hcf equal to 36 hcf equal to 36 you got the same problem. so the LCM of 2 number is 216. The product of 2 numbers is 7776. Then the LCM of 2 numbers is 36. I hope you understood this. Let's go for the next question. See what they have given, what we need to find out. So that's what we need to look at here once again. Okay. Let's see the third question here. The product of two numbers and HCF is given, then we need to find out the HCF. Okay. The product of two numbers. Product of two numbers equal to 3276 and HCF of two numbers equal to 6 we need to find out the LCM LCM of 2 
numbers. The LCM of two numbers we need to find. Simple. Okay. Here LCM we need to find out HCF is given. So LCM will write as it is here into HCF that is six equal to product of two numbers is given that is three thousand two hundred and seventy six. So the six is multiplied to LCM. No? We will transfer the set because because we need only LCM. We don't require again this. Six times of LCM is not required. We need only one time of LCM. So this six will transfer this side. So as I told you that the division terms, if you transfer to the LHS to RHS or RHS to LHS, it becomes division. The multiplication term becomes division. So here we we'll cancel the six tables. Six one the six. Okay, six five the thirty, but thirty two is there. Two left. That becomes twenty seven here. Yes, six four the twenty four. Again, how much left? Three left. That becomes thirty six. Six six the thirty six. Therefore, LCM of the two numbers is five hundred and forty six. The LCM of two numbers is five hundred forty six. So I hope you understood this one also. There is only one more question. Okay, we need to find out. Okay, let us see what is the question here. Fourth one. And last question of this exercise, the HCF of two numbers is six. HCF of two numbers is six, and LCM is thirty-six. HCF, LCM, both are given this side. Then what is there this side now? The product of two numbers. That means one of the number is there. The other number we need to find out. Again. So yes, one of the number, the first number is given. One of the numbers is equal to one of the numbers is given. Well, we need to find out the other number. We need to find out the other number. Yes, we need to find out the other number. Let us find out. First number is given. The second number we need to find out because here he said product of two numbers. No, one number is given. The other number we need to find. LCM is given that thirty six. HCF is given that is six. In this there are two numbers. No, first number is what here? Two well. Then we need to find out the here second number, first number into one number into other number. That means first number into second number we can write. Or not one number into other number. In this way you can write. So to understand, okay, six into thirty six. Let us write six into so thirty six into six equal to one of the number is what twelve into Other number. The product of two numbers are given as one number into other. Number. This two is multiplied to other number. We need other number. No, this two will transfer this side. So thirty six into six by twelve equal to we get the other number. Yes, six one the six. Six two the twelve. Two one the two. Two eight is the thirty six. Therefore, the other number. Equal to eighteen. The other number is equal to eighteen. I hope you understood this. The relation between the LCM and HCF is very important. The relation between the LCM and HCF is that LCM into HCF equal to product of two given numbers. That is first number into second number. We have seen the three different questions. Question number two, three, four. In the first bit, we have checked that we have checked what is the LCM of the two numbers, what is the HCF of the two numbers, and that relation also we have checked with the This LCM to HCF equal to product of two numbers. We got the same answer, yes. So in this way we can do it. Again, before this exercise there are some problems. You can check that and do it. You practice some questions based on this model by referring some internet questions so that you get practice. So that's it for today's class. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Bye.